Did you know that there's an element of style that can boost your confidence, double your chances of getting a woman's phone number, reduce stress, and increase your perceived level of trust? No, it's not your suit or even that nice pocket square. It's actually invisible to the eye. We're talking about fragrance. Smell has a powerful effect on how others perceive you. It's a fact, gentlemen, and despite this, nearly 80% of men don't use fragrance on a regular basis. So you're ready to start using this hidden style weapon, but how to use it correctly. Don't worry, gents. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use and apply fragrance correctly. So let's clear up a few terms first. Cologne. It's a name often thrown around, but it doesn't necessarily refer to a fragrance for men, just like perfume doesn't necessarily refer to a fragrance for women. Cologne and perfume are different names for the concentration of oils contained in the fragrance. A cologne is going to be about a 2 to 4% oil concentration. An eau de toilette is going to be about a 5 to 15% oil concentration. And a perfume is going to be about a 20 to 30% oil concentration. The higher the concentration, the stronger the smell and the greater the lasting power of the fragrance. Sillage is a term you may hear and this refers to the degree in which a fragrance's smell will linger in the air. Okay, so at this point you're probably wondering, Antonio, where do I get the right fragrance for me? Do I have to go out and spend a hundred dollars by that big bottle and find out I just don't like it? Guys, don't do that. I want you to go check out Scentbird. I'm linking to them down in the description. They're the paid sponsor of today's video, guys, and this company is awesome. Why? Because in three steps, you can find the perfect fragrance for you. Step one, go to their website, start your subscription, less than 15 bucks a month. Step two, select your fragrance. Guys, they've got over 150 options. We're talking niche fragrances. We're talking designer fragrances. Step three, receive your fragrance and use it. Guys, it's really that simple. And how much comes in this? guys? eight milliliters. That's enough for over a hundred sprays. So three times a day, yeah, that's enough for a month. And so every month this is going to renew and they're going to send you out another fragrance right here that you chose. You can try something new. You get another one. They all are going to work in this basically reusable case. You don't have to buy that huge bottle and waste all that money. Instead, you can try all these different fragrances. Find your perfect scent. I'm linking the scent bird down in the description. Go check them out. Awesome company. I met up with them in New York City. They are the real deal. They focus in on making sure you get 100% authentic fragrances. They've got the free shipping. They make it easy to cancel. And at the end of the day, it is an amazing service that can help you find your signature scent so you can start using fragrance. Again, gents, I'm linking to them down in the description with an awesome discount code. Use it or lose it. So now let's discuss how to actually use, apply, and wear a fragrance. You want to apply the cologne to the warmest parts of your body as your body heat will help to push the smell of the fragrance out throughout the day. Now it's important to apply fragrance to dry, clean skin if you want to get the most miles out of it. Me personally, about 10 minutes after I'm out of the shower and I've dried off completely, that's when I like to apply it. Great areas to apply fragrance and note you don't need to apply it to all of these areas are behind the ears, the back of the neck, the chest, the shoulders the wrists, the inner elbows, and the forearms. Exactly where you spray is going to be your own personal preference. Me personally, I like two sprays right on the chest, but I know some men, they want to go back of the neck. Other guys, they want to have a few extra sprays here or there on the shoulder, on the wrist. Again, up to you. Now, when spraying the fragrance, you want to hold the bottle about three to six inches away from your skin. Now, if you just finished shaving, don't spray fragrance on your neck. It contains a high percentage of alcohol and it can be painful and cause irritation. Now, understand when you spray a fragrance on your skin, it's going to smell slightly different for each individual. Why? Because on our bodies, we've got our own natural oils that are going to mix with the fragrance. Now, spraying on your clothes is an option and it's a good choice if you're going to wear multiple layers of clothing and you don't want the scent to get buried. However, be careful. The oils in some fragrances can potentially stain your clothing if put on too heavily. If in doubt, make sure to test on a spot that isn't noticeable. Now, gentlemen, don't spray your fragrance in the air, create some type of cloud and think you can walk into it. This is not how you apply a fragrance. It's very ineffective because most of the fragrance is going to fall right to the floor. Now, if you're using a splash bottle instead of a spray bottle, use one to two fingers and then put the fragrance precisely where you want it. Also, you don't want to rub the fragrance into the skin. This actually destroys the molecular bond, making the scent weaker. 
Remember, gents, less is more when it comes to fragrance. Fragrance should be discovered, not announced. I really like to put on a light spray of fragrance so it can only be detected when you're close to me. Don't be that guy who bathes himself in colognes and fragrances and he announces himself before he even enters the room. And when he's in the room, people are jumping out the windows. No, do not be that guy. If you're gonna be walking around outside on the city streets, then you could wear a bit more. And this is also a great time to wear a fragrance that you haven't tested. If you're gonna be in close quarters, like on an airplane, or you're going into an interview, for everyone's sake, go lighter on the fragrance. Finally, when it comes to storing your fragrance, you wanna keep it in a cool, dark place that doesn't have much fluctuation in temperature. A great location is a bedroom closet. A bad location, the windowsill in your bathroom. Not only does the temperature go up and down, but the exposure to sunlight is going to ruin that fragrance. Also, make sure the cap is securely on when storing the fragrance so it doesn't evaporate. There you have it, gents. All the info you need to start wearing fragrance today. And guys, if you're still looking for your signature scent, I want you to go check out Semper. I'm linking to them down in the description of this video. Awesome company. I'm proud to support them. They are the real deal and it's just a great deal. Great service. And uh, that's it, guys. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.